Welcome to this episode of Last Epoch Explained, and right now we're going to talk about Blessing. Now Blessings are an endgame mechanic in Last Epoch that show up directly after you finish the campaign. And we're going to quickly go over what they are, just how powerful they are, and how valuable they are to you, and where and how to get them. So let's get straight into it. Now Blessings, in the simplest of terms, are permanent buffs that you get after you complete a certain quest in the endgame. And they can be as simple as increasing your max health, and they can be as complicated as giving you void damage life leech. Now, in my personal opinion, the most powerful one by far, because I am a hardcore player, is the Grand Resolve of Humanity, which can give you up to 20% all resistance. And if we check our character tab, we can see that resistances cap out at 75%. So 20% to all resistances and give you over 25% of the maximum amount of effective resistance that you can get in the entirety of the game. You unlock blessings by completing these quest echoes at the maximum amount of stability. Now you'll see that it's currently locked because we don't have enough of our stability bar filled in. Now if you click on one of these echoes, you'll see that it can give you a certain amount of stability after you complete its main objective. And then you can also gain bonus stability if you kill a high enough percentage of the enemies within that map. Now once you fill up enough stability you're going to be able to do each quest echo in turn and once you unlock the final one you'll be able to fight a boss and then once you defeat that boss you'll be shown three possible blessings out of their entire pool of blessings so you can see here that the timeline that all these blessings are from is the stolen lance so currently i have the right of conquest blessing equipped which means i'm going to drop 26 percent more boots now if we go to the map we can see that the stolen lance is right here so if i want to have another chance at getting a higher roll on that blessing, I can redo that timeline, complete the quest echoes in turn, and then fight the boss again. And that's also what I want to do if I want a chance at getting any of the other currently undiscovered blessings. Now online there is a list of exactly what each of these blessings do, and you can look that up without having to discover anything yourself, or you can go in blind and see just how amazing and powerful some of these blessings really are. Now you'll notice here some blessings are grand and some are regular blessings. Grand blessings come from an upgraded version of the timelines, and regular blessings come from the base version of the timeline. So once you complete a certain amount of timeline, this UI is going to pop up. You'll be able to choose from the normal version of the timeline or the legendary version of the timeline. The normal version, after you fight the boss, will give you access to three possible roles of the base blessings. And then the legendary version, once you beat the boss of that timeline, will give you access to three of the possible roles of grand blessings. The grand blessings, in the simplest of terms, are upgraded versions of the base blessings. And you can see here the exclusive echo rewards. While you're doing this timeline specifically, echoes can have rewards that grant unique or that melee items, swords, axes, maces, daggers, or pole arms. The echoes themselves are extremely rewarding and they give you a ton of XP. And as you can see here, currently every single echo that I do is gonna give me 112% more XP and all items dropped will have a 145% increased item rarity multiplier applied to it. And that's because of these modifiers that stack up over time. You can also increase the amount of corruption, which for every 2% corruption, enemies will have 1% more health and 1% more damage. But the more corruption you have, the more experience you'll gain and the more item rarity you'll gain alongside it. Now you'll see here that when we hover over this echo specifically, it shows exactly what all of the echo rewards are, the player modifiers, and the enemy modifiers are. And you'll see that there's a number right there at the bottom left. This means that this modifier will apply to the next six echoes as well. So the next five echoes that I do, the enemies will all have 32% increased damage in addition to the new enemy modifiers that will be stacking up as well. And you can see here currently, no matter which echo I do, enemies will have 39% increased health and focus on attacking players. Enemies will heal if they've not been damaged recently. Enemies deal 75% increased physical damage and enemies have 36% more increased health and also focus on attacking players. And then we have the corruption modifier right there. And the further you are away from the nexus, which is where you start off, generally this number will be larger. And these enemy modifiers also apply to any bosses that you fight. So when you unlock the quest echo that allows you to fight that timeline's boss, it will have all these enemy modifiers. 
meaning that boss is going to be dealing nearly triple damage. And if it does physical damage, it's going to be dealing nearly four times as much damage as it otherwise would have. So there's a certain strategy with figuring out which enemy modifiers you want to have on that timeline's boss, depending on what its strengths and weaknesses are. And then there's also strategies in order to have as few enemy modifiers on the boss as possible when you go to fight them to be as safe as possible. Or there are strategies to get as many modifiers as you possibly can in order to increase the item rarity that that boss will drop if you want to target farm a specific unique. Now once you start interacting with the timeline and the blessing system in the end game of Last Epoch, you're going to have a fantastic time and you're going to want to skimp out on a lot of your real life responsibilities in order to play and get more roles and all those beautiful blessings. So I hope this video will help you understand just how powerful blessings can be and exactly where and how to get them. So have a great day and I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.